Powder from Down Under. And it's time to open up another batch of awesomeness courtesy of TF Safari. This is um, the first half of the batch. Uh, I ordered it a couple weeks ago. Came pretty quick as always. Cheap shipping as always. I chose to open this one because I'll be perfectly honest. Uh, the box is suspiciously small. Um, yeah, it, uh, I don't know how else to put it except, yeah, it's suspiciously small. I have uh, a suspicion that inadvertently I ordered a loose figure rather than in box. There was no details on the, on the actual listing so I kind of assumed I looked at a couple of reviews. It was, it was a group thing of a bunch of Autobots, rather specifically certain KOs of certain Autobots, uh, must be scale, and uh, and yeah, uh, I think one or two were listed with no box, but the rest uh, kind of assumed would come with a box, and according to a couple of reviews, some did, so I'm guessing this is one of those that didn't. Not saying it, but um, never mind. Could still be interesting, and um, I'll give it an open and see what's up. And uh, stay tuned. Ow! Actually, uh, let me just dig it up. No, it does look like it comes with the actual box. Give me a moment. Okay, it does come with the actual box, and it's got some. Hang on. Huh, damn. Okay, it's got a bit of a heft to it. But, uh, it's still looking a bit, well, small for a an MP scale figure. I mean, uh, it, getting the exact measurements of this guy was kind of, huh, but still, it, yeah, so, there you go, as you can see, it is the, uh, Sunstreaker, the supposed again. I'm gonna keep saying this supposedly MP scale Sunstreaker, but this specifically is a KO. So despite the very um official looking packaging, holy moly, this is a good old knockoff of the actual figure. So should be interesting, but um, damn, bro. Hasbro, the car. How do you define your scales? Because I am, I am. Well, I mean, okay. Over the years, over the years, over the months, over the t course of reacquainting myself with this hobby, or rather, acquainting myself with this hobby, uh, I have come to the conclusion that the scaling is more done by uh, vehicle mode, and then whatever height the robot mode ends up being, that's that's you know too bad so uh, yeah okay let's let's open him up okay and there he is and um i i don't know actually no that vehicle mode is looking i guess supposedly supposed actually pretty decent size i don't know I, I'm, I'm not quite but uh <laughs> look at those little accessories and wait a minute he's, i just realized he's actually upside down okay so here we go and oh my goodness he looks just from the get-go he looks pretty great I'm, I'm gonna pop him out obviously in a moment but uh, the accessories look pretty great I okay and um, here we have the instructions and looks like extra yes extra side mirrors cool Ooh. Oh my, okay, he's a solid little block of a car, and, and yeah, despite the somewhat diminutive size, the, the, the heft is pretty impressive, and uh, oh my god, he looks cool, and it's, and it's, and it's, it helps that it's probably my favorite Lamborghini model as well, so it's the, 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 the Count Touch, I never knew how to pronounce it right, so, Count Touch, Count Touch, Wakiki, Shikaka, <laughs> and I love how clean the bottom is even the head the head is hidden that's very unusual for a, for a Transformers figure and I love the extra effort 
and down, of course. Ooh, okay, one second. Woohoo! Rolling action! Rolling action! Excellent, excellent. Oh, oh, he is so. He is gorgeous. This car is gorgeous. Perfectly replicated. I, I, I don't know. There might be some die casting here that's giving it it's a bit of heft. Uh, the color is great, and and there's even a little. I know it's not gonna come up very. There's even like a little Lamborghini logo there at the bottom, but you know. Again, the the, the most shocking thing about this is this. Yeah, the, the the big thing with third parties with knockoffs that I've come across so far in the last what uh, half a year plus or so, so let's say maybe seven eight months of of doing this is that then they avoid that to avoid you know bad juju from Takara and Hasbro but this, these guys are now screw it here enjoy and yeah he looks legit if I didn't know if I didn't know that this was a KO if this wasn't sold to me as a, as a KO I would have thought hey this is official an official figure so and you know what yeah he's actually Decent, decently sized. I, uh, his size doesn't matter, but I don't know. When I think MP scale, I think huge. And so far, what 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 proper they can really say MP scale figures have I had? That was that was acoustic wave, that was sound wave, and there were the seekers, right? Uh, there were the others. I mean, my Ravage, my my Cheetor Ravage variant. I, is definitely masterpiece scale. The rest, the rest are kind of up and down, and a couple, a couple like my 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 nemesis and my uh, Jetfire are definitely more, more like Voyager. But then they have a couple of uh, oversized chaos which are not quite masterpiece either. So I really only am comparing this to less than a handful of, uh, of figures, I suppose. But still, okay, no, still amazing, still amazing. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> Cool stuff. And then we have the accessories. We have uh, a couple extra faces right off the bat, which I really appreciate. They look to be um, pegged in similar to my Seekers, so uh, I would guess that uh, switching them out would be as simple as hooking him under the chin, popping it out, popping this one on. So we got a little ah face and a little <laughs> yay face. And then, speaking of faces, we have this, which I am told is a reference to a an episode of G1 cartoon or something? I don't know. I haven't watched G1 since I was a kid. Hell, you're talking to a guy who thought that Transformers Victory was actually Gen G2, so, you know, I have no idea about this at all. It looks pretty cute. It looks, looks pretty fun. It's solid. I, I was thinking it was going to be rubber, but it's like... Plastics. Yeah, and I'm, yeah, it goes over his face apparently and makes him look, I don't know, more alien or something? Weird. And then we have this guy. We have, we have this, his wheelchair and we have him himself. The detail on this guy is yeah, actually pretty good considering the scale. It'd be, I think, a little more fun if he fit in here, <laughs> but no such luck. And then we have, uh, I have a little chat for that of course, then we have him and then he just pops loosely on his wheelchair, which doesn't roll, but that's fair enough, like it's supposed to be just a window dressing of a, of a figure essentially. And I have no idea who this is. I, I don't remember, I barely remember rather, any human characters at all in G1. There, 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 there was... From the comic, the, the the most recent G1 thing in my memory is the comic because I've read that a bit later, and I loved it. And I remember there being uh, Woodwicky, Sp Spike, Spike Woodwicky, right? And then the, 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 his dad. And because it was a Marvel comic, Spider Man showed up for an issue or two. And then they they, they made this chick who had like electric powers. And I mean, obviously, human characters popped in, but main human allies, I just remember Spike and his, and his dad as a regular thing. That's it. No, Spike. Yeah, Spike. Spike would be, yeah. So I have no idea who this is. 
hit me up in the comments and let me know who it is. <laughs> yeah, no. So, these two things uh, are literally meaningless to me. And then we have um, the guns. We have a nice big one. Cool. Pretty simple. Um, I'm not sure if the paint are just plain plastic, but it looks cool enough. And it even has a nice little barrel. I always en enjoy when guns like this actually have an actual hollowed out barrel to them. It's a nice extra bit of detail that I appreciate. And then we have a little one, which looks like it folds into it in more little ones. So I'm guessing it gets stored in the car somewhere. Okay. So, okay. So according to this, uh, he, the vehicle mod has some playability to it. Actually, ooh, a little more playability to it. So, uh, let's test that out before we get to anything else. Yep. Feast your eyes. <laughs> the boot opens. And yes, to anyone wondering, this is a Lamborghini. So the, the engine is actually in the back. So the front is actually the boot. And the boot opens simply just hooking it open and done. And it actually looks like it, it goes up. When I try to close it first, it just went up like that. And this does look like it's part of a trans well, the, the transformation, rather. A transformation? The transformation. Yeah, so. Fun stuff. So closing it definitely is a, either a two-hand job or, <coughs> or, you know, just fiddle with it wrong. But yeah. And then there's the doors. So the doors are simple enough, just like with any regular old model car, you just sort of hook it wherever you can, just open it, open it up, I literally just did it. I literally just did it, because, ah, that's the thing, the doors just, I, I kept, I think, kept hooking it under that, that's, that's the door, just this bit. And you just, bang, open it up. What the point is, I don't know, because there's no interior to speak of, right? Nowhere for uh, Chip Chase over there to sit, right? But hey, cool stuff, I guess. And then the same, oh, same shit. Oh, 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 crikey, oh, crikey, what'd I do? Oh, no, no, that's part of the transformation. Holy crap, that scared me, okay. Okay, and then, yep, yeah. there you go. Cool stuff, and then and then we can practically replicate the uh, the uh, picture on the box and have everything open. Okay, <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool actually. Now I do wonder how that is supposed to work because uh, according to this, you can either take off or or hold the the big silver engines in somehow to make it look more <laughs> street legal I guess well let's see if I can figure that out little side note I am kind of disappointed uh, that the wind wiper in here doesn't move or anything just funny little thing holy moly his headlights pop open as well uh, yeah of course I went to the instructions I, I could not figure out how to do that at all uh, a quick note on that I discovered that it also comes with a cute little card it's pretty cool has some um, <clears throat> factoids on the back I'm sure and stats yeah cool stuff and shows off what he's gonna look like in a uh, lot more adventure sweet huh sweet and then of course the uh, review notes but uh, yeah, I guess I should talk about these instructions, which are huge, but at least on one page, I appreciate that, although you can turn them over. And then there's a couple extra tidbits and hints and uh, uh, suggestions, I guess, and uh, tips, there you go, to what to do with different things. Oh, I think I think this is what I need to look at in terms of uh, the back ends. Yeah. Shows off the figure. Very nice. Damn, yeah, again, look look at all this. Look at it. 
I didn't know any better. So, here are little buttons, I guess. You can press in, and voila! The headlight pops up. Uh, doesn't need to pop up that much, although I just need to press it in oh, quite a bit more. I have to really shove my finger in there and bang! Hey, hey, he's winking at you. Nice. And then just. Oh, it, oh, this one is a bit. Hello. And. This one is a bit. Oh, here we go. Oh, that was a bit tight for a moment there. What the heck? And it just keeps. Collapse. Oh, oh, oh no, it is like a button. It, is, it does. It pop up. Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh. Damn, okay, this is this is beautiful. This is on par with actually even better than knockouts old mode. This is the most gorgeous old mode I've seen yet. Amazing. 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 Uh one thing I kinda discovered is that you can apparently Oh wait. I think you need to pull these here and then turn. Oh, yeah, I have, I have, but yeah, apparently the, the, the spoiler here splits up and turns. Damn. Oh, here we go, here we go, over. Sort of. And then push this a bit more in and then. Here we go. Sort of. Ta da! Does something, and I just noticed the the peg hole there for I'm guessing either of these guns. So you can <laughs> either or 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 this level. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! No! What the? What the hell? Hang on. Do these look different to you? In all seriousness, do these look... Huh. This one fit, fit in just fine. This one just sort of... No, no. It refuses to go in. It's like that little tab on the, um, on the memory card. You know, you can only put in one way. And here you can only put in the one thing. Wow. Wow, okay. Cool stuff. One second. Okay, just a moment, just give me a second. It's always tricky to get it underneath there. Ah, I should just get it underneath. I don't know why I keep trying to get it from the top. But apparently, you open this up, and then this whole thing here. Oh! Oh my! Okay, okay, lift. And then... Somehow... This... Gets in there. Yep, yeah, this, this folds in. Like so. And it makes it a bit smaller, I suppose. And then it... Probably for a moment, the, the, the picture is... Teeny tiny. Where the hell? <sighs> okay, so best I can surmise is that it just goes in loose somehow in there and then just closes right on top of it and then the um <laughs> what the hell the, oh 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 this this these these open up as well that helps a bit uh, this closes in on top and then apparently there you go the weapon is stored i hmm, i don't feel particularly comfy with that i don't know if i if it's because one sec. Because I can't 
really because I can't really see this bloody picture what it's trying to tell me about the orientation of the damn gun in the supposed compartment is it supposed to tap in somewhere is it just just does go in loose uh, it it I don't know it doesn't seem to close nearly as well as a, as it did before with that thing inside now which I don't blame it because this thing is just suddenly taking up space I'm just gonna pop it up out and yeah however I think I might have figured out how to um actually no I haven't figured out how to do this one either in the meantime stay tuned okay so the only thing I did figure out was that this thing right here flips all the way around to seemingly reveal the flat plane back of the car but I for the life of me can't seem to uh, fold it back in there. Now, maybe if I... Nope. Oh, oh, what the... What the hell? What is that? What the hell is that? I just... I just noticed that. I was wondering what was getting in the way, but holy crap, it's a missile. Yeah, that's exactly what that looks like in the back there, erect like that. It's a missile? What the heck? What? what? Some sort of anti-aircraft anti missile? Fun. But hang on, so this goes back in here. I can hold these, you know, no, somewhat, somewhat to align them. Oh boy. Back together and then, oh, yes. Oh, no, wait, hang on, no, something's not right, it doesn't close back in, ah, crikey, hang on, hang on, hang on, oh, 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 okay, okay, it, it does seem to click in, yes, aha, uh -huh. so, that hole there, that I thought was for, uh, tabbing this in, was actually, be able to safely tab in the um, the missile in inside, and then we can. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Put this back up. Gotta close. Try and cl oh no! Oh no! What I just do? What I just do? Why won't it close? What am I missing here? Was I supposed to? Is it supposed to do something else? Like I can see that there's something in there that supposedly folds out or in somewhere. But um <laughs> But suddenly the uh, the vehicle mode isn't all that well tabbed in as it was and there's a huge gap? And I, I know I know I'm not exactly uh, thing doing it properly probably. Uh, I definitely need to fold something. Oh wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. These this definitely need to fold in or, or out rather. So if I just open these back up <laughs> and maybe even open these up, all right? And then, then, then we fold this out, and then maybe, just maybe, something here, right, can, oh, oh, whoa, hang on, so the whole back opened up, I didn't know I could, wait a second, now it makes a bit more sense, so in there, in there, that looks to be a neat little space for something. Let's see, shall we? Alright, we, we grab we grab this, and then we. Hang on. And then we. Oh, 
pop it in. Right? Pop it in. Pop it. One moment. Oh, it's all a bit loose. It doesn't quite. It sort of slopes in, but doesn't really secure itself in any way. But yeah, that's not better. And then I can just. Um, so great and no no I think I messed it up even more actually now oh boy so oh actually that's more secure than I thought pop it back out and then we can close it mm, yeah okay I and there might be a language barrier here so I I think as far as this I'm just gonna keep it loose somehow or no it's Hmm. Would it? Eh. No, not quite. Okay. So, <laughs> not quite. This. So there is still back to this of trying to figure out how to bloody close up the gaps that suddenly that suddenly appeared when trying to make this thing more uh, inconspicuous though. And turns out that these these little things here also open up for some reason to <laughs> reveal a nice pair of tail lights. Although make it easier to see, it might be to make it harder to see, but there is a bit of paint chipping on this one. Minor, very very minor, but you know. Yeah. And oh yeah, definitely a little imperfection there. So that's so far so good. Still. Still. Very much so. So almost after a week of uh, leaving this poor bugger in a ramshackle state in his box and some off-screen uh, fiddling today, I, ta-da, I kind of did it with the whole flip of the engine. It looks better from the side and the front and, uh, wait for it, and the back than it does from the top. It does still look a little iffy on the top, but you know what? I, I, I made it. I, I got there. And honestly, I am very keen to transform him and see how he works out in that regard and also um, how he is in robot mode, of course. So uh, it's been long overdue at this point, I guess. So um, let's get to it. And it's funny because according to the instructions, the whole flipping the engine over is actually the first step. Over the first series of steps towards uh, transforming him to robot mode. How funny. Okay, so the first couple of steps are just to open the doors, right? And to wait. Yep, yep, open the. Uh... Oh boy, I think I, I might have um, messed something up here. Yep, open these things. I hope I didn't break anything with all my fiddling. And then um, open this all the way back up again. So, essentially, like that. Right. Um, then, apparently. Wait. Oh my goodness. Then, apparently, this whole thing somehow. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yep, yep, yep. This whole thing. Is supposed to come undone. Oh, oh, this doesn't feel safe at all. Hang on. No. Yep. Yep. So a bit, a bit fiddly again to sort of try to either I don't know unlock or untap this thing and just supposedly like oh yep there you go like that and then this other side same 
thing. Somehow. One moment. Uh huh. Okay. Yep. Yep. Finally, somehow un unclipped it or something, and then boom. There we go. <laughs> we have ourselves. I don't know. Some sort of a crustacean formation. <laughs> and yeah, the whole thing follows this natural kind of uh, conclusion to just. Uh, oh, I think it clicked in somehow weirdly. To just uh, unfold like so. Cool, yeah. Then we apparently open this little thing up. Cool. Followed by lifting this thing. See this thing up like so. Okay, so then we spread these gently, and then oh, okay, that's a little bit of a uh, <laughs> not quite flush seeming going on. Not not horrible. Doesn't doesn't seem to again be brittle or or uh, fragile in any way. So yeah. And mostly hidden away and in the middle of all this. But speaking of, this gets sort of shoved this way. Yep. Okay. Then on the other side, this windscreen gets sort of shoved. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Holy moly. Look at that. It is literally just held by a couple little brackets there. Huh. Interesting. It is a little weird. Um I Yeah, according So there we have the uh flap uplift and then we have essentially the windscreen coming well, what I assumed was coming up, but even according to the uh next panel it's more coming off huh oh, interesting and then uh, i don't know maybe that says hey the windscreen is coming off but uh yeah okay so um i guess i'm gonna be one of those people and say uh this is a bit of unexpected uh, parts forming on the part of uh takara because again, let's not forget this is a one-to-one -one recreation. So, uh, huh? Okay. Okay. So the next step seems to be on the path of creating fake kibble, because this uh, top of the car essentially gets flipped on over, and then bike, and then I'm guessing this. Oh, I'm guessing. Ah. Uh, it just makes sense, and it does seem like it naturally just folds down, and there you go. Ha ha. What is the point of this? I mean, I'm all for flair and everything, but this, 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 this just seems unnecessary. And also, I wonder what's going to happen with this. This is where the, the windshield is supposed to be, so I guess I'll find out later. So uh, in the meantime, yay. Oh, oh no, it doesn't seem like the steps had uh, the windscreen come off after all, except that this is definitely uh, a feature and not a bug. I'm guessing it's more for uh, ease, extra ease of transformation without it really getting in the way. You know, and then just pop it back on whenever, however. But, uh, yeah. What it means is that I've actually missed a step here. With, uh, this, oh, this middle part right here kind of having to, uh, um, having to, uh, uh, what? Um, that is what it's showing me, right? It, 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 we have the, 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 the windscreen coming out, and then the little middle part kind of goes off to the side, while 
this one comes up and oh you know I just I this, this hmm. stay tuned oh ooh, ooh, it it turned I finally sort of managed to I guess loosen it up and just turn it this? oh this is one solid thing that is surprising which means the uh, okay, okay, so yeah, so yeah, we turned, we turned, and then eventually this will tack on there. Don't have any brackets again. Okay. okay, so the next couple of steps seem to be this thing to fold, ooh, to fold out, and then essentially there's going to be the foot here to uh, fold out. Oh, ooh, up. And it's like, wait, no, not completely apparently, but to fold out as well. Yeah, so, bang, bang. And then in the foot here, there's this little thing is supposed to come back out. Come back out, come out, oh, and click in like so, and uh -huh. Okay. Cool stuff. And then, best I can tell, this literally just closes back up and then sort of unfolds into the foot. And, uh. Oh, wait, hang on. I didn't, I didn't see this. How, how does this do? What is. Wait. So if I unfold this, and then I fold. I fold it? Ooh. That looks, that looks weird. I feel like I'm messing something up here. Does it sort of, oh, oh no, no, no. It folds like this, like so, and then, doesn't close back up? Oh boy, what, what did I, what did I do? What did I just mess up? Uh, let me, um, let me just fiddle on my own and figure this out for a moment. Okay, so the best I can tell is that yes, this is supposed to be folded over like so in here, and then eventually, you know, this whole thing is gonna come up like so, and then this will be the foot. Cool stuff. So now I think all that's left of really transforming the leg is to just fiddle with some of the kibble a little and make it look a little more presentable and then do the same for the other leg. Cool. Uh huh. So apparently the door here is kind of on a double hinge so you can just pop it back out like so and then it seems like I need to fold over uh, This doesn't seem to, because it, it does seem like I need to fold it in like so, but it does seem to flash here. And the instruction keeps insisting that I can just bend it outwards, but it doesn't, that doesn't particularly feel good or right. So I'm just gonna, I suppose, see what happens, and then just, uh, no, 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 no. Hang on, hang on. Okay, so we figured out the foot, kind of, right? We're onto the leg doors, and then it literally is to pop it out, and then fold in the top. And I swear, it it does seem like it's telling me, hey, careful, this is the tricky part. You'll have to bend it uncomfortably out, and just sort of fold the whole thing and snap the whole thing in there. Because that... That, that was really, uh, so, essentially, it does Im imply, the whole thing implies unfolding this out as much upward in this direction as possible, right? Upward, uh, this, this whole thing, unfold upward. And as you do, right, as you do, unfold it up 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 it does follow the curvature of the leg and then suddenly da da bang 
it's there. And also kind of explains why you have replacement um, side mirrors because I can definitely see these potentially popping out during stuff like this. I don't like, I do not like this. So apparently this is supposed to um, unfold all the way out, like so. And there you go, I guess. That's part the leg almost done, except for this little bit. Oh no, you're joking. They actually, no, expect you to fold this back down? Somehow. But, but, but hang on. So, so we, we, we go for the door thing, right? Right, the whole fold it in, fold it in, cool stuff. And then, apparently it all closes right back down. Somehow. And, and it still insists that this whole thing is supposed to be able to fold completely out and oh this is just this is making me very very uncomfortable this whole thing because one misstep one kind of oopsie and then you're just potentially stuck without a without a door in either mode so uh, worse still the actual side mirrors seem to be getting in the way of any kind of folding back down in here. So, uh... And what did I say? What did I fucking say about this whole stupid process? Uh, I... Uh, look, <laughs> look at this! The whole thing just completely, totally unscrewed itself, essentially. And I... And I was just gonna say, you know what, I give up, I'm just gonna leave it up. Let it cover half his fucking thigh, what the hell do I care, but what is this? What the, what is this? Damn, man. Will wonders never cease. This, by the looks of things, what I thought originally to be a screw, is actually more of a ribbed... Look at this fucking thing. Just look at it. It's not a screw, as I thought. It's actually more of a rib pin that was in there. So, and it's in this weird ass tight spot that I don't have any easy access to. So, I, I. I don't know what the fuck to do here now. This is definitely taking a turn for the worse, because up until this point everything is good, and I'm and I and I guarantee that everything else is gonna be just fine. But now this, this is just, and then of course, chances are the same happening on the other end as well. Um, I am. I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I am kind of getting a little livid with all this, so <sighs> stay tuned, I guess, on a uh, partially related but weird and no, there is something here that does kind of unfold, just a smidge. Um, not sure what the purpose of it is or if this is what it kept referring to that hey it can unfold but the thing is that this thing is not attached to it this is just a free flowing free form its own thing so uh still no idea what the hell to do you have got to be fucking kidding me so uh no this is actually attached all together so this is what it was talking about to fold out that this was supposed to fold out right this whole thing click, clicks out pretty heavily and then and then all the folding and bullshit happens and then 
it falls back in again and uh, I just I uh, this uh, damn man uh, my Primus is colossal balls back on I it took it took a lot of fiddling around and some squeezing and and perseverance and freaking out and <laughs> finally it's back on I'm gonna be very very ginger with it from now on and uh yes okay well now the whole thing with the folding thing makes sense because now that this is actually properly popped out uh, I can just fold this. I can just fold this out, fold this in, fold this back down carefully, gingerly. Wait, yes, and then this whole thing closes back down. Oh, way to give myself a heart attack. <laughs> uh, then apparently here on the inner thigh, this little panel uh, here. Oh, wait. Yep, yep. This little panel here closes. What? Oh, shit! Down, like so. To sort of fill up the, the 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 shin, the side of the shin. What's the side of the shin hold? Do you know? Is this, is the thigh? Is the shin? Is the ankles? It's like the side of the shin filled out, I guess. And then apparently this thing sort of folds all the way to the back of the. So, and then this oh, folds in, and there you go. Uh, the leg is complete. Holy moly. I, th I think we're done. I think we're done. Uh, not quite. And then this, we're almost done. We're just gonna fl oops, flip essentially his uh, front side skirt down to complete the uh the groin area okay all right well then with all with all this craziness out of the way it shouldn't be that hard to finish off the other leg right Ta -da! legs the whole oh, lower half is done looks good very good. Uh, so all that's left is to uh, essentially uh, finish off his morning stretch routine and uh, get him all folded out and finished up. Cool. So the next step is easy enough. Apparently I just grab the top here and just And just unfold, uh, unfold the. Uh, supposedly, I'm supposed to just grab the top and unfold the whole back top of the, well, the the bolt mount essentially, or rather the whole back bottom of the car mount. So, yep. There we go. It, it was a little stuck in there, but boom, it unfolded all the way. Look at that. So, turns out these are the arms, and all I have to do now is just to essentially, like I said before, give him a nice running stretch to unfold them out, like so. 
but also apparently that it's a, this or this whole side and this whole side are supposed to but oh wow okay okay that is easy bam and <laughs> Cool stuff. Um, ah, if you see in there, the is what I didn't notice before. There's some pretty well hidden, a little nice lever that I can just bang and. That's still a little bit. Hmm. And, ah, ah, oh, there's that final click, and then. Boink. Hello! There he is, the man of the hour! <laughs> nice. Again, what I would probably term an, as an unnecessary little step is uh, grabbing these things and essentially. But yeah, but essentially turning them around to be like so, and then like so. Again, I'm all for flair and extra details, but sometimes you just why? So after a bit of fiddling with the right arm, I kind of have it uh, unfolded like. So, but I, I, I can't seem to have it um, either open uh, or bent in practically any other way. So I, I, um, I'm not sure what to do because the instructions here are just not very helpful. There's some sort of a tab apparently I'm supposed to switch or or something but um, I yeah it looks like for the at least for the arms um, I'm on my own here so uh, as always stay tuned hey after even more fiddling the fist is out and I just need to figure out how to uh, close all this up and which way his elbow bend is supposed to be Day two. So a couple of updates, I guess. Uh, arm is fully unfolded. Still can't figure out the elbow bend for some reason. Um, and then I folded up this windscreen fully, completely up against his back because I just realized that this hook is not so much for holding this, as much for holding, yeah, that that whole shebang. And we're done. We are done. Holy moly! Some of the stuff, especially his his fingers here, was so tight and so very clicky that I just I wasn't sure if I was doing it right, if it was supposed to bend or not. And then yeah, so um, there we go. The arm's out. The arm is out. So, uh, a thing to notice, I suppose, is that, uh, he doesn't quite have a straight arm position. Well, he can, but it's sort of very, uh, very clicky again as well, and it's just kind of awkward, but it can, well, you sort of almost bend it backwards, so, yeah, fun stuff. So, really, it does seem like... It's a little bit forward, yeah. So, but this, this is just, this just, ugh. So I think the fold on position should be like so, which is fine, I guess. But uh, yeah, no. So uh, I guess, I guess I can sort of try and demonstrate on this arm what I what I took so long to figure out. So this thing essentially unfolds somewhat yep and then this little bit sort of pushes in oh, 
tabs in. Doesn't seem like it's making much of a difference, but trust me, it does. Then, then, we turn a second, where is it, so I can see. Well, the way I sussed it out is I tried to just unfold the wrist, and then pops this open a bit, but ideally you should just pop it open as this. And you pop it open, and you and you kind of pop it more open, and then the wrist should, oh god, this, oh, yeah, flip up like so. And this will essentially, as the wrist completely falls out, this should quite easily close around his forearm, and then of course this touches around like so, and then we click out his elbow there, and done. Now, let's see how tight this is, because on his right, yep, oh yeah, it's pretty tight. It's like trying to, well, what I imagine is like trying to wrestle something out of a toddler's hand, and their hand is just somehow ridiculously tight around whatever it is they're holding, which is something they're supposed to hold. Uh, bear with me, and there we go. So, no, surprisingly, it's just the thumb hands goes in and out, he's surprisingly just his thumb that's so frustratingly and stubbornly ugh, tight. Yeah, kind of a bit annoying. However, the good news is... Oh boy. The good news is that he is almost done. He is actually practically done and just all that's left is to fold up this monstrosity of a backpack onto his back and he's good however I do actually have to leave now for work reasons for su sudden work reasons so the backpack <laughs> which is probably despite everything despite all of this probably the quickest, easiest little thing to fold up and do, but uh, but I really, really gotta go, so sorry Streaker, you're gonna have to wait till tomorrow. Stay tuned. Good news! I can finish today. So, with the backpack, it's a couple of little, just unfoldy bits and foldy bits. So, first we unfold, oh boy, there's a tightness again, we unfold these bits, Right, these little silver bits. Uh, then we fold these side bits, which I was trying to figure out, I think, last time, how they folded, and it turns out they do fold. And they do fold, uh, apparently, a lot. Apparently, actually, they fold quite a lot, lot. Yeah, okay, so they're supposed to just fold to the side. Apparently. Oh, 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 wait a second. These little, these little pipes fold as well. I didn't, I didn't know that. Okay, so apparently you fold this off, and then you fold this, um, one second. Up, yeah, up like so. So, that's the side. And that's the same. And I, I'll admit, as much as I have complained about unnecessary flair, I've all, I'm also quite impressed with the engineering on this thing. Truly a masterpiece figure. Uh, we'll, well, I think we'll have a little bit of a talk about that a bit later, if I have the time for that. Okay, so, yep, yeah, so that's the backpack kind of folded. Um. Then apparently all I have to do is just actually just fold it back in. Ta-da! Easy enough. Oh wait a minute! Remember, remember these awkward-looking doohickeys? Yeah, it turns out you don't just, you know, open them up ugh, like so. No, no, you actually fold them in like. So, oh my god, that makes so much more sense, look at this, 
Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. That makes so much more sense. Because now um, the actual transformation is to reverse it, to just go back out and then fold them in over the, the headlights. Oh my goodness, the things I find out after the fact I... Um, and then uh, apparently this needs to split and turn all the way up. Yep. Uh, all the way up. What the hell? Wait, are these supposed to turn? Oh god, I don't want to break it. I already had. I already have trauma from. Oh, wait a second. Like this. I was wrong. It's actually this way. That they're supposed to. Ta-da! It's just the uh, the instructions here have me unfold them and then fold them, and I got got me a little bit confused, and I almost tried to do a 360 with them, uh, and I'll, but no, no, it's it's more like open them up and then fold them down, so that they're, they're like so. Oh no! There's a bit of engineering missing from this KO. So, ah, uh, one second. So, this little shiny piece here is supposed to have a swivel because according to the instructions here, the whole backpack is supposed to be able to turn around but because this thing is now a solid piece instead of two on a swivel or other two connected by a swivel um yeah that that a bit of uh the transformation operation is impossible so my, my dude here is stuck with the backpack in this position Oh my god, man! Wow, that is a misstep. Whatever the hell was happening with the doors, that, that is a big misstep on their part. So skipping, a, so skipping a step here a little, these things are supposed to close up. Uh, oh boy, one second. Uh... Oh, oh, that's better. It's supposed to close up like so, and like, uh, why is this? How is this still sort of not entirely? Oh, there we go. Yeah, I don't know. There's some weird clicking and happening here that probably shouldn't be. It's supposed to close up like that, and this is supposed to be his back, but now, un unfortunately, he's stuck like this. Unfortunately, my brother Sunstreaker here is stuck being permanently way too back heavy because, yeah, I can't, I can't let go because he's gonna fall. And for some reason, I don't feel nearly as comfortable dropping him to the ground like, uh, like some of my other figures. So um, I'm gonna drop him to something softer. Okay, that's better. So my brother here is, is stuck being permanently in this kind of pearly really situation because this thing is I there's no way from there is there is actually a way for me to save this hang on <sighs> that's a bit better I guess let's see how it works oh 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 geez nope 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 he's still he's still the two top like top back heavy because of the, I, I removed the uh, the windshield so I thought I could fold him a bit more down, and it did, and it worked, and it helped, but damn son, this is bad. I mean, there are, there are already some, 
painting simplifications happening here, some little imperfections and defects. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Uh, on one of these hands. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it. There's some chipping, major chipping there. Oh, major chipping there. I mean, overall, he actually looks pretty great. And I mean, again, if I didn't know any better, I'd say this is an official work until this. Yep. Oh, mate, this is. <sighs> I gotta salvage this somehow, potentially, but I don't know how. Uh, outside of. Hmm. Stay tuned. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do my eyes deceive me? Did they put the swivel over there? Oh my primus. <laughs> because yeah, there is a bit of a swivel here, but it but it is um it is very much impeded by its positioning and uh, <laughs> I still don't know what the hell to do in this case unless hang on is there something that can open yeah probably not but um oh my goodness I Okay, so the instructions here have some weird extra doohickeys apparently with his backpack, but I don't know, it doesn't matter because holy shit, I did it. I fucking did it. How did I do it? Well, I just very carefully did turn around the backpack while opened back up um, on that swivel. It seems like at least the part the main part on the hinge there is more of either soft plastic or rubber and it can just sort of very tightly kind of squeak through essentially and I, very, I did it very carefully very slowly but um, ta-da it is finished he is finished uh, one second ta fucking da he is done. Oh my Primus, the drama with this guy, I, I don't think I had to go through with any other figure anywhere close to this amount with uh, to just transform him. But uh, in the end, I, I feel like the end result is worth it. He is great. He looks great. There is definitely some, I, I think, don't quote me on it, but, uh, oh, never mind, never mind, never mind, no, no, he looks legit, he looks good, this, again, is the most shocking part of the whole thing, um, yeah, funny enough, he doesn't have just that, he has another one on his ass, upside down, how fun but uh yeah woofed the end result I'm happy to say is definitely worth it uh, he has all the articulation to be expected which I should probably go through uh, real quick shouldn't I okay so he's got nice wrist uh, rotation he has nice uh, thumb oh very tight but thumb motion just on the on the on the, on the hinge his fingers are all in one piece but also on the hinge he has uh, sort of a tab there for his weapons which I should probably demonstrate like for example his big ass gun Right, got a little tap on the side there, and then just 
open, ow, open, ow. Okay, apparently his thumb doesn't open anymore than that, which is a bit weird. But, uh, yeah. Tab it in there. Tab it in that. Tab it in there. Oh, hang on. Tab it in... Is it supposed to be... Oh, I think it's supposed to be a bit loose. And then just... Oh, boy. Close the stuff around? Uh, okay, what the hell? What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? I'm trying to tap it in. Oh no, not there. Let's see, that is me. That is me being right. Okay, tab in. Good. Fingers closed in. Oh, it even slides a bit just to make room for the thing thingies. Good. Tada. A bit loose, I think. It is a bit loose in his hand, but fair enough. And the same for the. For the gun, for the gun, the small one has also those little, little, little tab there, and then just tab tabs in, also a bit loosely. Ah. Okay, and then just thing. Oh wow, this is even more loose than the other one. And then tada! Ooh, he's fully armed and dangerous. Awesome. But yes, uh, he's got a, a good 90 degree um, elbow bend. Uh, as I've said before, to fully, fully straight his arm, it is a bit ugh, tight and clicky, I think, and I'm pretty sure that's by design. It's more for transformation than anything else, but yeah. So in general, like, it is more like this, kind of like not completely straight. Um, He's got good bicep swivel, excellent. His shoulders can go up, but he's in charm. This thing kind of bumps him in the head, but the good news is this thing on the shoulders folds, and he can fold his arms even more. So that's... That's pretty awesome. Same articulation on the other arm. Uh, as far as I can tell, he does have a full... Yep. A full 360 degree you know, torso swivel. Yeah, the chest plate is a bit loose, but it doesn't come off, so that's alright. And then he does have a good. Oh, whoa, 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 that's good ab crunch. Nice. Um, the head does have full articulation. Oh, turning his torso than anything else. But the head does have a full articulation, you know, you can turn it around, but things do get in the way at the back. Um, he can look up, he can look down, not really, but because of his thing that, that the head is on, it's like an extra swivel there, so he can look down even further. He can actually even cheat and look up, even, I don't know, it's the same. He can do like a bit of a, like a hole, like peeking over the yeah, and then that's the only way you can actually get his head around completely. So the, the articulation is there. It is, it, is on a, it is on a nice sort of... It is on a nice ball joint. It's just that where it usually sits... Eh. You know, the stuff in the back kind of gets in the way, but that's fine. Um, yeah, so yeah, articulation is great. Um, okay, so far. Let's see. Legs spread just fine. Oh, okay, hang on, this just that gets in the way. That's weird. But yeah, legs spread just fine. Legs move. Oh, ratcheting. Nice. Nice, decent ratchet joint. For the legs. Kicks decent. Um, of course, there's. Uh, oh, very. Yeah, you can even see it's a ratchet uh, joint. Um, good leg bend, I mean, knee bend, rather. Um, back kick is kind of non-existent because of the non-movable butt plate, but you can sort of cheat a little and just bend it out a bit and then just kick it out completely. So, head.
not good. Not, not too annoying. Um, okay. As, oh, 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 one second. I don't know, that door, that door really has me kind of a bit paranoid about him, but he feels solid enough, like, he's not, he doesn't feel, oh, wait, hang on, is there a, yes, there is, there is a bit actually, weirdly, on the, in, like, inside, internal, but I'm not turning, yeah, he can turn his legs, but only in. So weird, but no, not oh no, out as well. Okay, yeah. So you got even leg swivel, thigh thigh swivel, good stuff. Um, ankles. Yeah, you can do a decent ankle pivot. Um, can go down. Guess can go up. I guess, but clearly not. This is this is definitely not really intended to be a full. Yeah, I'm still, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy with the. Uh, I'm really happy I figured that out. But I'm also happy with the articulation. That's not a problem at all. Um, face. So, I think his face pops out pretty easily, just like with uh, my Metro Seekers. So just hook under the chin and just. And just. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, 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 wow. He can look up more than I thought. Look at that. He can really look up. Oh no. But his face doesn't want to come up. Maybe he has uh, uh, something clicked. One sec. Maybe he just needs two hands. Okay, it was just on a bit tight and there was a little less, you know, wiggle room with uh, the chin. But yeah, just pulled it out by hooking on the chin and pulling it off. And this on just by a uh, single little peg. So. Let's make him a bit happier. Yeah. Oh, look at him. Look at the happy little bugger. Look at his happy little face. He looks so good. He does. And, and he looks happy and he looks... Yeah. And, you know, I'm happy he's happy because that happy face was a bitch and a half to put on because I had to actually use a file to shave off a bit of the tab that that face sits on or rather has on to, to you know, tab in, to slot in to his head. It literally would not go in otherwise. This was a tight it as is, that one would just not go in. Um, I mean, I didn't have to follow much, thank goodness, but still, just, just had to give it a bit of a, like a, like a sh -sh 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 -sh. and there you go. But yeah, you know what, the end result, I'm definitely happy with. So, um, and speaking of the end result, this guy at the end, despite all the drama, despite the weird. I'm gonna say mistake, uh, bizarre little hiccups and such. Is actually still great. I, I no, I'm I'm surprising myself. I, I I gotta say, um, from seeing how small the box was, from seeing all the missteps, mishaps and such, you know, and uh, yeah, I was. Yeah, my, my expectations kind of dipped a bit, and my excitement for him dipped a bit, and my enjoyment of him dipped a bit, but overall, I think it went right back up, and honestly settled at a solid, very, very solid 8 out of 10. Um, I'm surprised I didn't mention how much I spent on in this entire video, but uh, he sent me back uh, 55 USD. So fifty-five dollar donuts uh, at the front of Safari. So um, you know what? I'm happy. From what I got, I'm pretty. I'm pretty happy. But uh, on the topic of size, I don't usually do this, but the uh, masterpiece label kind of um, 
led me to this moment. So here's Sunstreaker, right? Next to my Nemesis KO, which is, I think, a deluxe Voyager ish, more, more likely deluxe scale, you know, figure. And then here he is, next to my <laughs> Thundercracker. Oh, rather, Make Toys is um, Thundercracker. I keep calling him Thundercracker for some reason. This is Skywalk, aka Make Toys is Skycrow. I do not know where that comes from. Weird. But yeah, so essentially, if I was to look at these figures side by side with no context, I would say Lux, Voyager, Masterpiece. Right? Right? But. No, apparently he is also a masterpiece. Although, <laughs> Skywarp here would beg to differ. So, it, I mean, as I kind of sussed out earlier, like, in, in Sir Day, uh, I was this old moment when, you know, I was this old when I realized that, hey, the scaling is by alt modes rather than bot modes, but still, my goodness, this... This difference, like, for a even clearer context, this difference, mate, you telling me that they're the same scale? I, I don't care how well their old modes scale together, this is nowhere near the same scale in bot mode. And, I know it's one of those things, somebody's gonna be unhappy. In this case, yeah, I'm unhappy. I'm I'm kind of un unhappy with this. Not really, I'm, I'm a bit more myth, but still. Damn, man. Well, well weird scaling issues aside, uh, yeah, I still like this figure. I, I still really like it. Uh, this was kind of an experiment because TF Safari has a whole range of masterpiece knockoffs you know on there and they're usually for a decent enough price that i would be kind of tempted for characters i like and i do like some speaker i mean again going by the w comics poor poor bloke has been for so much you know and look at him he looks like he finally caught his caught a break great so so uh yeah still like this figure still kind of would recommend this figure i mean he is Good quality, decent quality, uh, with uh, issues and mistakes aside, and um, he is a fraction of the price of what uh, the real thing would go for. So as long as you go in knowing that this is a KO and would be things kind of a bit weird, yeah, no, yeah, for fifty-five dollar dollars, I think I'm pretty happy. Yeah, happy, 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 and. Uh, Probably even happy to pick up some more of uh, his fellow audible.